Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with another in my Dollar Tree Christmas Junk Journal Challenge video series. This is going to be about using the cards and envelopes. These were the ones I got at Target. And at the end, I have just a couple of ideas. They're kind of obvious. Using index cards. I got these at Target. They are um, plain on both sides. And they were 49 cents for a hundred. So um, I just liked them because they were plain on both sides. And, um, and they're already cut. <laughs> so anyway, so let's get right in here. So the cards from Target I picked up were these green ones. There's eight cards, eight envelopes. And I those are for my next batch. So <laughs> I've already started using them. So let me show you some of the ideas I had. So I took a card and I um, cut it in half. So these cards are printed on the front and back. Okay. So um, one of the first things that I made, let me get my phone cord out of the way. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay. Was this little mini journal. So like the pocket journals that I make sort of. I had cut this out of the Target ad book. So show you the Target ad book. So I cut it from right here. Okay. So cut it from there. Added it to the front. Folded it in thirds. And I have this little book. I've also added a scrap here. And then um, I filled it with some scrap papers. I have um, bound it with the baker's twine. And that is going to go into the first pocket that is um, inside the book. Not right inside the cover, but right inside the first, after the first page. So we have little pocket journals, which you've also seen me make where I just fold the, I cut the panel card in half, fold it in half, and make a little journal that way. So that is using a card. So another way is I took the card and I basically cut it in half and I made this little flip card. I've cut this out of a gift tag a sticker gift tag. This is from one of those pages of stickers. I've almost used all of those up um, from Dollar Tree. I've gone ahead and tied a bow at the top, added the washi to the top and bottom, and we have this cute little card that can um, go into a pocket so that you can see the whole front. Um, that's probably how I'll place it unless I put it in like photo corners um, in something because I do have a couple of items that are done with photo corners that um, it might go there. So some of the placement of these items um, isn't going to happen until I pull out the book and and because I don't want red truck next to red truck. Red truck in front, red truck in, anyway. Um, this was from one of the pillow pictures in the Target magazine. I added the stripe using the Dollar Tree Label stickers, this is just a piece of one of the cards. Okay, so now I've made just like a little tag. Here um, I've used the stickers from Target and I've I've put one of the stickers on the round. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna lay one of these right here. <laughs> so on the round label and just added it to a card front okay so um but because of where i would put this the pocket that i put it in was smaller than a whole card i have sliced it down so that it fits so this is i'm able to use this like scrapbook paper now here this one is a page so i've taken a card and i've turned it into a set of pages adding one of the burlap ribbon ruffles here. This is from the napkin. This is from the wrapping paper. Some of the burlap. 
And here we've just added one of these that are plain. And um, yeah, so, and then some of the, th this just packaged up. So this is going to go into the book as a page and it'll actually get bound in the center. Okay, so here we've taken one of the cards and this is the packaging from the, the Dollar Tree little things. I've gone ahead, put some ribbon through the hole and I've decorated the front of the card with the square of burlap, one of the stickers, and inside we have a side, um, a little tuck pocket. This is from the bottom of the paper bag where it all scrunches together. It ends up with perfect little, a variety of these um, triangles. So that's from that. Um, and then we have a side tuck place here that we can we can add something in over there. Okay, so this one is a card and it's going to be inside here and I'm going to use my uh, ATG gun to attach this, actually attach this to a page inside of the journal. Here I have another page that I have made and this time what I've done is I have the card Okay, and I've decorated the two sides. These are going to be an opposite ends of the, the journal when I put it together because I will bind it here in the center. This page gets the page. I've decorated the inside. Here I've taken one of the pieces of the card and just put a couple of holes in it and ran a, a, the baker's twine through it, made a bow. I've taken the envelope and I've attached the back of the envelope into the, the back side of the card. Added, this is from the Target Magazine. Then we have one of the little note cards here. This will be bound here. So we'll also, we could come in and add a, another card in here and give us more. Um, or we can add something just into the pocket. So um, I haven't decided on it because I don't know the placement of this into the book, but the, it will be bound here. So here is another envelope. It has wrapping paper on the front, one of the stickers from the gift tags, one of the burlap ribbons on the side. I've cut the um, envelope to be a pocket here added that piece that I had cut off um, for the one that needed to be shorter. I added that piece and then I attached it with the washi tape. So I made this pocket. The card here has a gift tag sticker on a, the square and with some washi tape. Okay, we're still, we're still filming, yay. And then this is the card. So the card this time is attached with a binding string right here and I've attached it to the envelope. Now here's one of the places, I, like I said, that I had made um, little uh, side tucks that a picture could go in here, a photograph. Um, here I have made, a. I used one of the labels, put the wallpaper on it, cut around it, and I have just a cute little tag, and that's just sitting in there. I may want to decorate that, so I'm going to leave it out. Okay, so here is the envelope flap, and what I'm going to do with the envelope flap is I have this page, and I have made a belly band using the burlap, and this will fit right in there. Okay, so this will get bound in the book here. This will be separate from the binding. And we have that happening. Okay, so that is another way to use a card. Here uh, is one of the note things, and I just have made a little card to, to fit in that pocket. You can write on here, put a photograph. 
I love this wallpaper. It's just stunning. So next we have, um, you remember this from, this is the packaging from the stickers. And this is, these cards were made from the packaging. There's a whole video on using packaging. So this was packaging. These large cards were packaging. But if you wanted to, you could also put a card in your packaging. Okay? So in that case, you want to make sure that you've cut this just a little bit bigger. So that was... Um, using this was also packaging right here this was from the roll of ribbon from Target so just several ideas how to use the items that you've purchased and <clears throat> sometimes when you've you know you really liked a box of cards um, for instance there is that adorable box of cards from Dollar General that has the Santa and the the Christmas tree and you could take you know you can use your cards in all of these different different ways um, and just making them just a little bit different and um, if, like for this one this is basically you know you get eight pieces of scrapbook paper or cardstock this size for a dollar plus you get the envelopes so some of the other things I had done with the envelopes is now I'm using the envelopes as green paper because there's places where I don't need any more um, envelopes but you know the green paper is stunning with the rest of what I have been doing so that is those are some of the ways that I have used the cards now really quickly index cards I've just started using them in this particular one so here I've just taken and I've collaged using the fussy cut pieces from the scraps of the wrapping paper here again fussy cut pieces this was a large piece of scrapbook of the wrapping paper and I I glued it on then I glued one of the squares and added this um, this little bow and then one of my favorite things that I've done is this little card this was that adorable image of the little reindeer okay so this is the image I just thought they were so cute and they are reindeer and that is kind of my theme in here but you have that bar going across and so to give the to to get rid of the bar, I have used my fingernails and made little indentations, and then I made one of those little tiny bows. So um, I'll show you these. I'm loving these little bows. So just sometimes it's I've been using the the scraps that have been left over. Pink scissor alert. These are my cut only material scissors. You guys seen the memes where he used or she or somebody somebody used my scissors, my fabric scissors. Okay, so you take you want to have a little bit of a tail, and this time I want a small bow, so I'm just going to go around two fingers, and I'm kind of watching this side, um, on this particular one, to make sure that I still have enough string to be able to tie it off. So I have my circle. I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to take this and wrap it around itself. And then I'm going to take this piece. Now you need to be careful because you can easily pull your bow through. If you're pulling... <laughs> Excuse me. If you're pulling your knot from the wrong side. Okay. So you just want to tie it and then I tie it again okay so now you've got this adorable little bow I think it's really cute I, I think it's cute I think it's different and you know this is something you could do while you're watching TV and you could have several of these ready 
Um, so there's that. And then on this one, what I did was I went, I went all the way around the, I had, I left my string long enough that it could go all the way around, come back and tie together there. So let's see, I do have another one that needs, should we put a bow on this one? Oh yeah, see this? This is from the Target book from the front cover. So it's this little guy. And when you um, cut it out, it has a, a little bit of wording right here, just a little bit. So I covered it with the washi tape. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my the small hole on my crocodile and I'm gonna cut two little holes next to each other. Okay, so there we have our two little holes. And then I'm gonna take one side. The longer side's probably a good idea. And I'm gonna put it through. And I'm going to bring it back. Now, if this were a page, you could actually put this through and then tie another bow on this side and you're decorated on both sides. But this is going to be just, it's a card. I'm going to use it like a small card. I may actually put it on an index card and make it larger, back it with some green paper or something. Um, again, it's going to depend on where its placement is in the, in the journal, whether I need a small card or a large card. So some of these items even though they're finished, they're not finished because I don't know where how they're going to be placed. So I have tied it. Now I'm going to tie it again. We're going to give it a double knot to hold it on there. I'm going to tie it kind of tight. And I've shown you this before. I just think it's I think it's so cute. So then there we have a little cute little um a cute little bow okay and then you can fluff out your bow okay so there we go cute little bow and um yeah so index cards so let's see where's my i don't know what i did with the little stash of index cards here they are okay so you can do straight tags it's a great size you know it's a great size to fit in here um, you can fold them in half make a little card like we just made with the little reindeer now what I'll probably do with this because it's so cute on the front is I will probably put it somewhere in the journal where it's over a pocket so that you this will decorate the um yeah you know, where it will it will be a decoration so but in the right orientation because I have a thing that's my my thing is it, orientation needs to be correct so it could go on a belly band and you know anyway I think that that, that is really really cute um another Thing that you can do is is a trifold so I just fold it one way fold it the other way so so this is something similar to the um, I don't know where I went but the one with the mailbox on the front the other thing is a flip up flip down so you could decorate this. You could actually decorate it to be like a, a postcard maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe that the stamp, the truck stamp from Target might fit right on the front there like a gift tag. Um, and you could glue this in, in to your journal and have a flip up, flip down spot. 
So there's just so many things that you can do. And I mean, I know that many of these are obvious, but I want to remind you, those, those of you that have been crafters for a long time, some of the things I show might be a little, um, you know, they're, they're like, wow, I've been doing that for years. But for some of, we have new people that have never, um, never done any paper crafting before. And I want to make sure that they, they get the elementary, um, you know, 101 lessons. So I'm going to, before I leave, I'm going to go ahead and make one of those little bows and add it to this mistletoe. Somewhere I have the word mistletoe also, there it is, that I'll be using in my journal that came out of the Target book. So how many are using the Target ad or an ad from one of the, um, one of the stores? And are you enjoying that process and being able to use um, an item that was totally free? And I'll tell you what, there's two things in that book that if I hadn't been doing this project, I wouldn't even be thinking about going and purchasing. But um, there's a couple things in there that I'm probably going to go and purchase. Okay, so I'm going to make another one of those bows. I've wrapped it around my two fingers. If you want a bigger bow like the one I used for the present stacks, um, the card present stacks, <laughs> those are in there. Uh, those were in the scraps part of this series. Um I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around. Um, yeah, so there's a couple items that that catalog for me, Target, it worked. And um, I hope they still have the items. One of them is, I think this mistletoe is really cool. And um, although we get fresh mistletoe uh, at the cabin every year, uh, you know, there's some years that we don't make it to the cabin. <laughs> And so, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and double tie this. So if you were making these ahead of time, I would double tie them and have them ready. Isn't that absolutely so cute? I, I think it is just so cute. Okay, so for my um, mistletoe, I think what I'm going to do is um, wrap it around just like you would if you were really making this mistletoe if you were really uh, if you really had the mistletoe sitting right here you might go ahead and wrap it with some ribbon to match whatever your decor is so here we go wrapping some mistletoe and then I will probably go ahead in the back and um, add some glue or washi tape. Yeah, so that little tiny addition, I think that that's going to make all the difference. So, um, and on this particular item, I know that I'm not going to, um, I don't need to cover up the back. And that's just my thing about the the words. That's uh, yeah. I take extra steps to cover up text and and stuff in my my journals. And remember, this is my style. You don't have to be, um, you know, where everything matches and and all that. I, that's just, that's my style. You can take all these ideas and uh, um, adapt them to your style. So there you go. A couple of index card ideas, several ideas using cards. There, I know this is just a little taste of some ideas, um, but I need to be able to put this book together. So I wanted to make this video for you for now. So I hope you are enjoying this challenge. If you would like to join us, come on over to our face group, our face group, our Facebook group. It is the Dollar Store, not Dollar Tree, but Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge. 
we are able to use any of the dollar store, dollar spot. Um, if you're in another country, your dollar-ish stores up to 15 items, 15-ish um, dollars, and, um, and make a Christmas journal. And have a lot of fun. Share your ideas. Be kind. And, um, and don't overthink this. Just have a really good time. Yes, we did make rules. Um, but most of all is have fun and finish your journal. <laughs> okay? So join us over there. Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge. Put on this year by myself, Dear Julie Julie, and Kara Brandon. And I'll tell you what. It is so much fun to collaborate on this, and um, I'm, I'm just really, really having a great time. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here. Which one was your favorite? This is my favorite. And you know what? That would have been totally trash. Find something to celebrate. Have a great day. Bye.